Welcome to the channel. Today, at the request of the community, we'll be looking at the Husfana Aspire R4 robot mower. We'll look at what you get in the box. We'll talk through some of the R4's more advanced features and how this mower actively prevents jealous people taking your prize mower and relegating you back to your weekly grind of taking your mower for a walk. Then we'll integrate it with Amazon Alexa and talk through the Home Assistant integration. More on that later. Now the Hasvana Aspire R4 was on loan to me for review, but the reviews and opinions are all my own. So let's dive on in and see what this mower is all about. The R4 comes in a large cardboard box with plenty of packaging to protect the contents, so your precious R4 will not be damaged in transit. The R4 comes with literally everything you need to get up and running, from the generous 150 meters of boundary wire through to even including an Allen key for inserting the large ground screws to secure the charging station. The R4 is 55 centimeters in length, 33 wide and 22 centimeters high and weighs in at a respectable 5.9 kilograms, making it light enough and easy to move around, but also heavy enough to cut effectively. It has a large red stop button on the top, making it super easy to stop without having to fiddle with your phone controls or pressing buttons while the mower is moving. There are five on mower control buttons with illuminated LEDs next to each to allow for easy location in low light conditions. Under the mower is the usual affair of a rotating disc with three razor sharp cutting blades that when rotated at high speed cut the grass. The blades need to be set using the included tool, which does need some practice, but then again, when was the last time that you adjusted the cutting height of your standard mower? More importantly is the power connection points, which are two thick vertically mounted metal plates as a common failure point for robot mowers, as these are located at the rear of the mower and are protected within the body of the mower. The base station of the mower is made from tough UV resistant plastic. It comprises of two sections, the platform area to keep the R4 off the grass and the header where the connections for the boundary wire, the guide wire and the R4 low voltage power connectors are located. It is connected to the ground using four included 14 cm hex head ground screws and Hasvana even include the Allen key so you don't even need to go hunting for any tools. The wire connectors are clearly marked above the pins for the boundary wire running to the left and to the right. The centre connector is for the guide wire that allows the R4 to navigate back to the base station. To the right is the custom weatherproof low voltage power plug. The R4 comes with 150 meters of 2.7 millimeter boundary wire, which is 50% more than most robot mowers, giving you wire to spare on those larger or more complex shaped gardens. To make the installation as seamless as possible, the R4 comes with simple push to crimp connections for the boundary wire and guide wire. These are both simple to use and easier to install than bare wire connections. The boundary wire is secured to the ground using tough plastic pegs, of which 300 are supplied. Make sure you use these every 75 centimeters to keep your wire nice and low to the ground to avoid the wire getting cut. Charging power is supplied to the R4 via a dedicated power adapter that puts out 28 volts at 1.3 amps for 36 watts of power. A great engineering design decision is to keep this close to the power plug and then to feed the robot mower through a low voltage 5 meter cable that goes from the power adapter to the mower base station. This avoids having to co-locate your robot mower to the plug. I mean, let's face it, how many of us have a plug conveniently placed in the garden? And finally, when the R4 needs to come inside for those colder months when there might be snow on the ground, Hasvana even provides you storage brackets so your R4 can be wall mounted and kept out of the way. They really did think of everything in this package. The R4 is compact yet packs a lot of technology. I was particularly impressed with the navigation as this is not only a hit the boundary fence and simply head in a different direction type of mower, but makes maneuvers as if it understood the layout of the garden. How it does this, knowing the sensors it has available to it, is black magic. It can mow up to 400 square meters and even works on inclines of 25 degrees, all while whisper quiet at 95 decibels. 
we've already mentioned the storage hooks that gives you year round operation and storage options. A lot of mowers at this price point of $13.99 Australian, links in the description if you want to buy one, are Toya based and as such the configuration options available to you are limited and basic. This is a feature rich app allowing for simple setup and control of the mower with more advanced options such as frost guard and scheduling available. Integration to Amazon Alexa and Google comes as standard so you can just tell Alexa to ask your mower to start mowing. Weather timer is a particularly interesting advanced option. The mower will automatically adjust its mowing time to maximize its mowing time in a period of strong growth or minimize in a period of low growth. I've not had the mower long enough to test this, but if you have any experience of this, let us know in the comments. I've tried this mower out on large rectangular shaped gardens with no passages to other mowing areas, but this advanced feature allows the mower to mow passageways and navigate between mowing areas through passageways. This would seem to be a fabulous feature to more complex gardens. If you have experience of this, let us know in the comments. Over the air updates for firmware should be standard features for all devices by now, but sadly it's not. Providing this feature means that you can put your latest and best firmware on your R4 while sitting in the garden. Very nice. I don't know of another robot mower that has this feature and think it's great that his father have considered it. Mowing in frosty conditions, not that I get this much in Australia, can damage your lawn or your R4. So it makes perfect sense that if a mower detects this, then it can suspend mowing until the temperature rises. Although maintenance on the R4 is very minimal and can be set and forget between changes of the cutting blades each year, the fact that you can hose it down to keep it functioning as the day it came from the factory is great to see. Adding your mower to your Husfana app is super simple. Log into the Husfana Auto Mower app. Make sure you are standing close to the mower and connected to your Wi-Fi. Now press Add mower. Select your mower, in this case, Aspire. Now turn on your mower and it should appear in the available mower selection. Select your mower. Enter in a pin code for your mower. Your mower will pair, although you can skip this section if you don't want remote control of your mower. Now press next. Optionally name your mower and press done when completed. Your mower is now paired. Now scroll down to the section for schedule. A default schedule of 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. will be shown. Select the start or the end that you wish to adjust. When finished, press the save button. Now press the open settings, followed by the operation. You can now set if you wish the mower to sense an area for longer grass. It will go into a spiral mode to optimize the cutting. You can set the length of grass that spiral mode activates on. Weather timer, as previously discussed, can be activated here. I'd recommend trialing it if it's relevant for your climate. Eco mode is a great energy saving feature, allows for boundary wire to be turned off while the mower is not active. And finally, frost guard, allowing the mower to basically press snooze on starting mowing until the temperature rises. Now go back to the settings and go into the installation. Here you can set the lawn coverage, the starting point and the drive past wire. Lawn coverage allows you to define areas of lawn for even cutting, specifically for your garden layout. Starting point, as the name suggests, is the distance from which the charge station that the mower will travel before starting mowing. I'd recommend setting this at the maximum three meters. Drive past wire is the distance the mower will travel past the boundary wire. This is super important and must be set in conjunction with the placement of your boundary wire. For me, I set it at 20 centimeters, although I expect it to go a few extra centimeters. Back in the settings menu, move across to accessories. Here you can set if you have an optional mower house. I would highly recommend purchasing a mower house. It's not a lot of money and it will keep your mower out of the direct sunshine. This will extend the lifespan of your mower dramatically. Flexi fence is a unique feature that allows the temporary boundary wires to be created. It's 15 meters long and lasts up to 30 days using a single charge. This will allow you to set temporary areas where the mower will not mow in that time frame. The Aspire R4 will integrate with Amazon Alexa and Google Home through their standard integrations. I'll put links in the description to the instructions straight from Hasvana. 
For this integration to work between the Aspire R4 and Home Assistant, you're going to need hacks installed. If you don't have hacks installed, then go to the link in the pop-up above and come back to this video. We'll also assume that you have already set up the Aspire R4 in the Hasvana Connect app. For the integration with Home Assistant to work, you're going to need to have a Hasvana developer account. Navigate to the developer portal, link in the description. Press the sign up button. Make sure that you enter the email that you used for the login to the Hasvana Connect app. Complete all the fields, agree the terms and conditions, and press sign up. You'll be sent an email to the account that you entered. Press the activation link on the email. This will redirect you to a page confirming that your account is now active. Now you'll need to log in to the Hasvana developer portal with the email and password that you previously created. Now we'll need to create an application. Press the My Applications button. Press New Application. Enter an application name. In my case, Home Assistant. Optionally give it a description. In the redirect URL field, you need to be very precise. I'll put this link in the description. Enter it exactly as it's shown in the description, making sure that there are no spaces after the URL. Now press Create. Now make a copy of the application key and the application secret and copy them to a safe place. Next, we need to connect the API. Press the Connect New API. In the Authentication API, press Connect. The API should now be successfully connected. Now I would recommend that you leave this tab open, but then navigate back into Home Assistant instance. Next, press the Add Integration that's in the description. Make sure that your URL is your Home Assistant instance by using the pencil to the right of the URL. Once correct, press the Open link. Confirm that you wish to set up the integration by pressing the OK. Now copy from the Hasvana developer portal the name as it was defined inside of the API, the client ID, and the client secret, and press Add. Confirm that Home Assistant can obtain the information from the developer portal by pressing Allow. Confirm that you wish to link the Home Assistant through to the Hasvana developer portal by pressing Link. You'll be greeted with a success message. You can now change the area if required, or just press Finish. Searching in your integrations for Hasvana will show up that the integration has been successful. Press on the device link. Now we can see the controls and sensors that are available to us. Plus, we get some interesting diagnostic information. As this integration is specifically built for an auto mower and not a toyer integration that recognizes mowers as vacuums, we get correctly labeled controls. Pressing the controls for the mower brings up the ability to start mowing, pause mowing, and return to base along with the current state of the mower plus the battery levels of the mower. We get the ability to override the mowing schedule and deactivate if required. Inside of the sensors, besides the battery level, we get the number of hours that the cutting blades have been used for. This is great as now we can develop an automation based on the cutting time of the blades so we never have blunt blades again. In diagnostics, we get some fascinating metrics, such as the total charge cycles and the number of collisions and total charging time. It would be nice to see a metric for the total power usage, but maybe that's something that Hisvana will add in the future iterations of this mower. But we can always achieve the same results with a power meter socket. Subscribe and press that bell to be notified of when we put out our new video on power meter sockets. I especially like the run time and total distance traveled. This unit was a loan unit from Asvana, but you can see that on average the R4 traveled 1.4 kilometers for every scheduled cut. So that's 42 kilometers we didn't have to walk. That's got to be worth it. Links in the description to the product if you want to pick one up. This integration has some even more advanced features. One that is particularly interesting is the image sensor. This is the ability to use the mowing sensor data about the distance traveled and the rotation to provide a map of the route that it takes on your property. This is much more advanced feature and one that I won't go into on the R4. However, Hasvana are sending me out an even more advanced mower. And if there is interest in a video to cover this topic, then I'll definitely include it into the video recording schedule. The Hasvana R4 is the new entry model robot mower from Hasvana and for the retail price of $13.99 AU offers great value for money. The closest model in the US is the Automower 115H for $699 US, but the R4 is the evolution of this and hopefully will be coming to America shortly. 
The performance of the R4 compared to other mowers was excellent. It provided reliable, consistent results, and once set up requires very little maintenance. Let's face it, this is what you're looking for in a robot mower. Controlling and reporting the Aspire R4 through Home Assistant or the supplied Hasvana app makes the R4 a welcome addition to any smart home. Combine this with automated watering and bar a bit of pruning or weeding in your garden, it's going to look pristine 365 days a year. The integration with Home Assistant is your usual multi-factored affair, with a few hurdles to jump through, but once you've done, you're up and running and reporting and controlling your R4 with ease. All said and done, the Hasvana R4 gets a thumbs up from Smart Home Australia. Great design and engineering, some standout features, great control and sensor data, and an affordable price that achieves a great cut on your lawn every time. I hope you liked the video, and if so, hit that thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing and joining the ever-growing community, and ding that bell if you want to be notified of similar content when it becomes available. Until the next one, enjoy your beer as you watch your R4 cutting your lawn.